much stuff to do ever compare myself to other people. Sen kad kupi pederu. En paranoia, ne osjećam se dobro. Good morning people. Today uh, Dushan and I decided to take things in our own hands and we woke up very early, like I think, well very early, 7 o'clock. And we headed to town to kind of do a few things to Dushan needs to buy some clothes, I need to kind of fix a few chores. Maybe I'll try and get my hair done actually this morning. And then um, kind of like working and just enjoying enjoying the festivities. I'm drinking my chai tea latte and yeah, I thought I'd start this vlog here so that I can update you as we go throughout the day. What are we going to do today? Well, I'm going to buy some things. Then? Finish vlog. As you can probably tell, guys, I had to stop at hairdressers because my hair was just a state. And now it's time to get pretty again. summer days and a huge chunky club Monaco scarf. Now it's time to go home because Dushan and I have so much stuff to do. So let's go. So guys, we arrived home after a few hours of being in town. After actually whole morning, uh, we were in town until like two o'clock. Then got home, I made some lunch for us, just pasta, nothing spectacular. And catching up with work, I spoke to my friend Julia on the phone. We caught up a little bit. And uh, what are we doing now? I'm going to sleep. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're so, so, so sleepy, both of us, because we only slept like four hours last night. So now we're super contemplating to have a nap, both of us. My never ending to do list for today is tidy up the office because we have a lot of um, shopping bags and things, um, tissue paper that um, from items that I received yesterday, like wrapping paper and things like that, like addresses to shred, blah blah blah. Then look at the flights for the trip we're taking this weekend. We're going on a press trip but I have to figure out what time works the best for us. Then I have to look at the rent car options because we really want to rent a car so that we can go and shoot everywhere. I have to write down a list of everything that we need to do while we're away so all the things that we would like to shoot and five I have to do the location scouting so because I have such an extensive list of things to do I think I'm gonna have a nap first okay guys so this vlog is going to be somewhat not really like a day we as you could have seen we were in town this morning we lost a lot of time and then when we got back i'm just trying to kind of like think what did we do when we got back we were just working editing videos planning our trip because we're traveling tomorrow and just doing like here a few and there things my sister's coming home later and then we're gonna finish work and go to bed because we're leaving very very early in the morning the car's picking us up at 5 a.m so i just have to like tie so many loose ends before then but before we go on this trip I wanted to kind of dedicate this video especially because I have a bit of a gap and talk to you about positive thinking about my attitude and about the fact that I often seem very happy in my videos and that's kind of true actually if you've been following my channel for a while you then definitely know that I'm a firm believer of law of attraction and of believe and you will achieve of ask and you will receive and things like that it's just something that is really natural for me. I've always been a big optimist and I feel like I've known about Secret even before I read the book because I've kind of practiced, practiced it way before I read the book. I used to write down on a piece of paper everything I wanted to achieve and I would kind of like close little pieces of papers, put them in a box and then I would reopen them a year later just to see that a lot of those things that are written down and I asked for, I have achieved. So, um... 
You guys know that especially in December I have one big challenge that I always give myself and that's a no complaint challenge. It means that you are not allowed to complain at all throughout the month of December and I always go on this challenge and I ask people around me to go on the same challenge so I would again like to challenge you guys at least try not to complain at all until Christmas. It's basically what um, two weeks now, so give it a go. I think it's a pretty big challenge because subconsciously we complain about very irrelevant things such as the train is delayed, the food is too cold, I run out of tea bags, the cat hair is everywhere. Um, I don't know, like random things. There's no seat on a train. Things that we complain about that we really shouldn't be complaining about because let's face it, there are much more serious and much bigger things in the world happening. Now, I've practiced the secret and the law of attraction for quite a few years now, so it's a lot more complex than what I'm saying now. There's a lot more about frequencies, and I now feel like I have a secret recipe of putting myself in good mood and on good like vibe, good energy when I'm feeling down. It's pretty like, a, kind of like a process. For all of my people who speak Serbian as their first language or, you know, all of my people from Balkans, you guys know how much I love Anna Vucevic and that I recommend her with all of my heart. Uh, mislim da je ona jednostavno jedan od najboljih motivacijonih govornika na našim prostorima ona me uvek, uvek dobro baš onako raspoloži kad god sam onako malo bez veze uvek me vrati na pravu frekvenciju For the rest of you, I would like to invite you on my no complain challenge until Christmas and to say that it's in our nature to complain sometimes and to kind of go through different phases of moods but if you do, write it down, have a little notebook where you will write it down or like maybe on your phone in like the notes, write down what you complained about. At the end of the month, just read everything you complained about throughout the month just to realize how stupid those things were. That's what I did the first time. I put myself on the no complaint challenge just to realize that I um, really complained about random stuff. Try and ask yourself, would you complain about those things to maybe like a homeless person? Um, do you think that will make sense? It's just something to think about. The reason why I don't complain is not because I have a perfect life, because we all have problems. It's just that I present it to be perfect because I like to even convince myself that my life is perfect. When I come across problems, conflicts, situations which are far from ideal, I kind of like know how to deal with them now and I know how to approach them. There is a great app that I recently um, downloaded and it's called The Secret Teachings. And this is, by the way, not sponsored in any way, shape or form. I know that nowadays when YouTubers mention like apps and things like that, it usually sounds sponsored, but honestly, it really is not. I just want to tell you about it. I think it costs around four pounds and once you buy it, you get like daily notes, which will put you in a really great mood and it will kind of like, they will put things in perspective for you a little bit. And one of the first ones I read was that at night when you go to bed, close your eyes and visualize everything that happened that day. Even if there were some bad things, try and imagine them how you would like the outcome, how would you like them to have happened. So for example, if you missed your flight, go to bed that night and think about the whole day, think about all the nice things that happened, then think about you making on time, making it on time for that flight, going on the plane, having a super smooth day. Just think of everything how you wish it would have happened. That would put you in the right on the right vibration mode so that you can go to bed and wake up happier next day even if it's not truth. It's just something to practice to put yourself in the good mood. I have been so happy lately even though a lot of things have happened that are far from great. I told my sister the other day if I could bottle up this feeling how I'm feeling right now and just maybe like keep it in that bottle for the days when I'm not feeling so great just to kind of spread it around throughout the year or so. I think that would be great, but obviously that's not ha possible. I'm just gonna try and stay positive and stay on the good vibration, not pay attention to bad stuff, not focus on them, and I do have few tricks on how I do that. So I know many of you have already heard these things, but I would like to go through these things with you now. Many of you know that uh, when I wake up every single day, I first say thank you for three things. 
I don't know, like sometimes I struggle to find those things, sometimes I don't, but I always make sure to say thank you for three things each and every single day. And I make sure to say thank you every night before falling asleep for three things that happened to me that day. It's just something very, very important. I think gratitude is actually the best cure for sadness and for anger, for in general, every negative emotion gratitude is the best cure for and for me gratitude just does wonders so it's something that i would just like to outline for everyone out there gratitude makes wonders besides that i have a few different um rules in my life i do not focus on negative things i never like replay them anymore in my head that's done I don't ever, ever, ever compare myself to other people. I only compare myself to myself. So I spoke to Dushan, my photographer, and we re-strategized my, we often re-strategize my kind of like direction and the picture style and what are we going to do next and how are we going to do it. And we only compare our work to the work that we've done previously. So uh, we started working together in February and every time we're trying to re-strategize, we go back and look at my pictures from February. It's not even been a year, but we've gone so far from that February and like I never ever say oh but look at pictures of this blogger or of that blogger look at videos of that girl or this girl we only look at our own work and that's what makes us happy because we can clearly see the progress we've made if I was still producing the same videos and the same pictures as I had in 2015 I'd actually feel pretty bad because that would mean that there was absolutely no progress at all Comparing yourself to other people will only set you back because you will always find people that are doing better in some other aspect of your life, like, I don't know, we all ha excel in different things and if I compare myself to 10 different girls, I will find in each girl something she's better at and I will hate myself and I don't want to live a life like that, so what is the point of hating myself because I'm never going to be as good as 10 girls together? Does that make sense? Hmm. I don't know, I hope so. I have to say that gratitude has also uh, brought me very, very far because even when I had times when I was stuck at a very, like, at a job that I didn't really enjoy as much as I do enjoy my job now, but for some reason I asked the universe to give me a job that I will enjoy, even though I didn't know what that would be at the time, and I, I, I knew it. I knew that the universe will bring me a job. I didn't know what it was going to be, but I knew it was going to happen and it did and that's an example I often really like to tell. I'm very happy because thanks to law of attraction and thanks to gratitude and thanks to really appreciation and focusing on myself, on my vibration and on my energy, this year I have worked with brands such as Louis Vuitton, Fendi, both of which I worked on really nice projects, Dolce & Gabbana as well, Dior, Cartier, so so many incredible brands that I'm just, that were always like my huge dream and I still have so many more to achieve and cross off my list for the next years to come and that is something I'm going to work on next with a positive mind, with a happy attitude and that is the goal. Regarding the books, that's something you guys always ask me for. I have several books that I could recommend. I always recommend The Secret, Napoleon Hill. I have my goals journal and it's something that I like to write in all of my goals because I think it's very important to keep your you know, eyes on the prize. I have The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. This book even had me so many times, um, I got so many times chatted up on a plane because of reading this book. People kind of seem to think like, ooh, she seems like an interesting person. I don't know why, but yeah, it's a great book and I'm really, really enjoying it. It's It put my mind in like a completely different mind frame. The first chapter taught me that when someone is rude to you or attacks you or is trying to put you in a conflict or is blaming you for something that is not your fault, blah, 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 whatever. It's usually because they kind of, their mind brought them to that situation somehow. I mean, I don't want to bore you now with that, but it, it, it makes it easier for you to justify other people's 
actions as well and makes your brain instead of like this big place with a lot of tangled wires a lot more spacious and more efficient place then i love this one called grit why passion and resilience are the secret to success love 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 that i mean i read a lot of these books the next one is in Serbian and it is by my favorite motivator um, who writes, well, it's in Croatian, I guess. Um, and it's called Što nije ljubav. Obožavam Anu Bučević, kao što sam rekla, zaista, zaista od srca preporučujem sve njeno. Vide, live-ove, knjige, znači seminare, iako nisam bila još ni na jednom seminaru, znači na slepo mogu da ga preporučim jer sam zaista obsednuta svime što ona radi. And then we have Brian Tracy Million Dollar Habits that you guys have already heard me talk about. So that will be it for this video. I have loads of more books. If you would like me to talk more about this, let me know and for sure I will. Now I'm gonna clean up and try start packing. So let's go. Dushan is trying on all the things that he just bought in town today. It's modeling it to my sister and me. I don't know. At the same time, we're watching some video on YouTube and we're just like obsessed. I'll try and leave a link below. What's that, Dushane? It's for skiing. Let's see. A sad farmer, it's a probe. <laughs> oh my god guys what a day it's like really late now it's what time is it 1 a.m 2 a.m 2 a.m yeah but on another note i received a really another amazing parcel from a website called Forcieri. it's an e-commerce so like online website which sells a lot of beautiful things and i actually have a little discount code for you so i will um, leave it in the description box because i don't know what it is by heart Mm, but if you're interested in shopping, check it out. How am I going to do this? And in case what you're wondering why are these like breaks in between filming, it's because Dushan needs a pizza break. He's eating pizza. So he was like, let me just stop filming a little bit to take like another slice. Anyway, I'm very excited to open this because I know obviously what it's in, what's inside since I picked it. Dushan, do you think I received enough? Uh, presents today. No, I think you need more. Especially, I think. What? Bags. <laughs> so, since you think I need more bags. Definitely. I have very good news for you. Yeah. Yeah. For Sierra, um was the only place where I could find this beauty as it was on pre-order and it's very very new oh my god it's so nice let's see. it's probably the same as the other ones but okay let's see i'm curious to hear what you think it's gonna be like a perfect bag for the winter period i think and it's in dark color which is something very uncharacteristic for me somewhat it has new Afis Fendi logo. Please read before removing. So yeah, it has a new Afis Fendi logo here. And as you open it, it's a classic kind of like can I bag, but actually it doesn't have a flap inside. It's just like a fully open and it closes differently. It's a magnetic closure. So I would still say it's a can I bag. It's incredible. I love the top handle and I'm gonna buy, I know exactly which strap for it to go and it's gonna be just so, so perfect with my autumn winter clothing. So yeah, that is it guys because it's so late and today's day was like such shambles. I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'm sending you loads of love and loads of positive energy. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and let me know what would you like me to film more of. Bye!